long have you been lashing for and which course or courses are you currently taking with the lash drive? Uh, I've been lashing for, oh god, I think it's like seven and a half years now, around seven and a half. And I've done probably that 10, this will probably be my 11th course, like I'm a bit of a course junkie. Yeah, um, but I, I signed up for the business and branding one because I've been doing a few business courses, but not one that's specifically for lashes. Like I've done a few that are for beauty and then some that are really for, I guess, quite large scale businesses. And it's really hard to try and get that to, to what my level of business is at the moment. Yeah, so um, yeah, I picked the business and branding one because I really want to grow my business in Chile. I'm trying to move myself um, out of it a little more. So yeah, that's why I took this one. What is your situation at the moment? Do you have a salon or home salon? Are you working for someone? What do you do? Uh, it's a home salon. So um, I'm just looking to move out of home now. So um, I've got one girl that works for me. I've had four staff members, three at any one time and I've always just found the balance between just the two of us like she's the one that's stayed with me the longest she's really really good um, but I'm looking to expand and obviously like you know I want to grow my family and stuff as well I've got a two-year-old at the moment so just to make my personal life and everything else a bit better as well and I mean I don't think I would give it up a hundred percent I just don't think I could do it I love it too much to be able to like 100% give it all away mm. um, but yeah I still want to be able to be flexible um, and yes. you know when you're in appointments you, you can't be flexible. I've got a young family so. How I should be putting my business together so I've only just started just um, this morning the branding section which is the main section I was looking forward to of your course um, and so I know that there'll be a few tips in there that I'll pick up, but I've done so many things around, you know, the mission, the values, all of that sort of stuff. And I know all of that, but actually putting that into like colors and fonts and what do my customers want to see and all of that sort of stuff, I, I really struggle with that. So going from a home business to a salon is a completely different environment. And obviously I know the aspect of trying to keep it um, as sort of, a, a warm, inviting, comfortable feeling is going to be a lot harder to do in a salon environment, especially when you've got more stuff. So that's something that I'm very mindful of that I need to be able to try and incorporate um, a sense of that into yeah. um, a, my new salon when I get one. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I sort of really want to rebrand and I'm not, I don't like my logo anymore. I think I've really outgrown my website but you know there is a full website building course in the business and branding course. Yes. My yep. web designer. Um, it's something that I really needed um, to start getting me moving and start thinking about things. And it's really good that it's in such a logical order that I can go and skip parts. You know, if I don't necessarily need that part right now, I can skip to the part that I want to um, or need to do. Um, so that's been really, really good. And, you know, I think like, I, you know, I made a comment on one of your videos, um, even stuff that I know already, I have still picked up tips from pretty much every single video that you've done. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, and particularly the one that you did as well on the, um, with like PayPal and all of the different pay um, methods and stuff. I was just actually watching that one before. And you know, I've got the little PayPal machine and I've researched like Square and all of that sort of thing as well. But then when I actually like thought about it and I was watching all of the figures because you know, I was really just looking at the comparisons of the different rates and all of that. And it never actually sat down to think about applying it to my business and what I earn and how that's gonna work and mm -hmm. whatever else. And so I actually just sat down and did that then. And I was like, I was talking to my husband about it and I said, you know, I've gone and bought this PayPal machine and I'm not going to use it now. Oh, I don't